What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today is a very special one because uh, I kind of I kind of posed uh, a, uh, a challenge, so to speak, to our Discord channel and I said, you know, we've got this deck suggestion channel. Everybody knows that my favorite card right now in standard is Mirror March. I absolutely love it because I think it's absolutely ridiculous. And we recently uh, were, were gifted Terror of the Peaks, which is a really, really powerful card that I thought uh, in tandem with Mirror March would go really, really well. I thought that would be a really cool way to instantly kind of win. Uh, and so I wanted to try this out, but I didn't, I, I tried to build like a mono red list that didn't really work very well. Uh, I ended up going with a green red list similar to this one, but didn't take the same path that this one did. Uh, and so I'm really, really excited to try this out. Finally, somebody caught back to us. Uh, Swan Storm is the deck builder behind this one. And I really, really like this. Now, uh, before we jump in, I did have to change just a couple of cards. Uh, in particular, we initially had four Perforos as well as four Fiery Emancipation. Uh, I ended up swapping two and two out for uh, the Raise War here. Uh, reason being, it was solely due to wild cards, and I happen to already have uh, a number of these, so it was very easy to kind of fill this deck out once I swapped those out. So uh, I did swap something, but again, still credit goes to uh, Storm Swan here uh, for actually putting this, or Swan Storm, excuse me, for putting this one together, uh, because ori uh, originally this is his list. So I am excited about this. I think this is going to be a really fun one, and I do thank you for uh, for putting this together and accepting the challenge. We did have a couple of people submit a few different versions, uh, but I do think that this one, it looks to be uh, the crisp, the crisp win. Uh, I don't know if it's actually going to. We have not play tested it, but the idea essentially is to ramp out, be able to get your Mirror March out very, very quickly, and then cheat out some of these creatures uh, to really, really double them up and hopefully get in for, for quite a lot of damage or just win the game off of Terror. So, uh, to help us get there, uh, Arboreal Grazer, a great start to this deck uh, for a lot of reasons. One, obviously, it does ramp us, which is important. Uh, but more importantly than that, even, it keeps us alive against a lot of different decks. The fact that this is a 0-3 with reach means it blocks things like Healer's Hawk. It blocks things like uh, uh, Robber of the Rich. It, it blocks so many things, uh, so many aggro decks right now that this is really, really a strong starting point, I think. Uh, so very happy to see three of those. Uh, we do have four Azusa, uh, which I would consider maybe swapping the numbers here only because this is a legendary creature, but this is a very, very strong card in this list and that we can play two additional lands on our turns, uh, which in tandem with something like Rada, uh, which helps us look at the top card of our library and then play those lands off the top of our deck, uh, these two in combination really, really let us churn through our deck, hopefully play a lot of lands off the top, and then again get to all of these stronger things. So very, very good combos here. Uh, and looking forward to playing with Azusa for the first time in a long time. Uh, man, such a good card. Uh, as far as in the four drop slot here, Migratory Great Horn, another one to help us ramp out. We've got three of these uh, to be able to pull out basic lands from our deck. We've got a high number of basic lands to make sure that we've got plenty there. Uh, and we can obviously just uh, mutate that onto any of these. Our Boreal Grazer makes a great target for that. Uh, Iron Crag Feet here. Uh, this is a really interesting one. So it's four mana and you add seven red to your mana pool, but you can only cast one more spell that turn. Uh, and obviously that's fine because we only really need to cast one more spell. So sometimes that'll be a mirror march. Sometimes that will be something like a fiery emancipation, but hopefully if we've already got the mirror march out, it's just one of our really, really strong creatures. That's kind of what we're hoping for. Uh, and again, Terror of the Peaks is is really the one that I'm hoping for the most. I just want to see if we can win off of that. Uh, but in our, our five drop slot here, Terror of the Peaks is again kind of the big card here. So when, uh, first of all, it's a five four for five with flying. Uh, an opponent casts anything to target this costs an additional three life. So uh, if they're trying to remove it or do anything like that, they do have to pay three life. Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks steals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. What's great about that is <laughs> Mirror March, uh, anytime another creature enters, so the tokens, uh, the idea here is that they're all going to start dealing damage to wherever we need to deal damage to. So we can clear the board, we can kill the opponent, hopefully we can do that. Uh, I'm really, really excited to see if that works. Now, uh, Perforos as well as the Razebore are kind of here to help cheat things in, so they're really, really good options to be able to uh, play out here. 
Um, hopefully, uh, they are legendary creatures, but hopefully we can keep a token that has haste. Uh, and then also cheat out a second creature or do something like that. We'll, we'll obviously see that's a bit of a corner case, but it would be really, really sweet if we can. Uh, not only that, though, but Perforos just has the activated ability to help us get there. So very, very strong. Uh, Brash Taunter is a bit of an interesting one, I think, in this list. So it's a four. Uh, it's a one one for four and a red. Indestructible. Whenever it's dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target opponent. What's cool about that is technically you can just hit it with Terror of the Peaks and then it starts dealing all of its damage to the opponent because it is indestructible. Uh, you can also fight creatures with it. Uh, but the idea, I think, is like a little silly. I think we ought to try. That might be our goal is to try and Terror of the Peaks our own Brash Taunter just to kill them because uh, I think that's really funny. But it is kind of a silly one. Uh, it is only a two of here. I think it's kind of an interesting one. We'll, we'll see if we can get it to work. Uh, Mirror March, if you don't know what it does, essentially uh, anytime you play a non-token creature, you get to flip coins until you lose the flip. Uh, and for every win, you get a creature that is a copy of the original creature. They also have haste. Uh, and so all of those tokens get to swing in immediately. And the idea here is very clear. Uh, Terror of the Peaks getting a couple of tokens out to hopefully finish off the opponent. Uh, Fiery Emancipation here is an enchantment, a very new uh, Core 2021 card. Uh, six mana. Uh, if a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals triple that damage to that permanent or player instead. So this is a bit of a win more card. Uh, so I was actually kind of OK with taking a couple of these out, but it is a very, very sweet card. And this deck, if nothing else, is meant to just go way over the top and be super silly. So I'm hoping that we can get that to work. Uh, this does only run 24 lands, which I think might be a bit low, but... Uh, we do have 11 Mountains, 7 Forests, 2 Castle Garenbrig to kind of help us activate some of these abilities, in particular these Mutate, uh, and then 4 Stomping Ground here. So that is the deck. Uh, like I said, I have not tried this out yet, but I really do appreciate Swanstorm for uh, putting this one together. I, I really, I don't know, something about Mirror March is just so fun to me. Uh, I know it's random, and I know it's not good, but that's okay. It's okay. We're here to have fun. We're here to enjoy ourselves. So let's kick off the week with a fun one. Hopefully we can get a couple wins with this still uh, and hopefully let it do its thing. But we'll see as we go along. Uh, let's see. Our frame rate is garbage, but we're going to try. Uh, we got a nice little one of the nice little combos of this deck. The only thing that could be better is if we had a grazer to really kick this thing off. But that's okay. We'll throw this out. And hopefully... Uh, turn three will be a very strong one for us. Um, getting Rada out will be really, really nice. Uh, and then following that up with Azusa maybe is the best play, but we'll see. Um, also, guys, I just want to thank you. Uh, we're rounding out our month for Patreon. We've had a couple of people uh, jump up to our, actually, our $20 tier, which is really amazing, and I certainly appreciate it. Uh, if anybody else would like to, feel free. You still have some time to go ahead and jump into that. Uh, don't feel like you have to, of course, but that is there for you. And at any given time, you're more than welcome to, uh, to, to jump into it. So don't worry about that too much, but, uh, really, really happy, uh, with the turnout there. And again, I, I certainly appreciate every single one of the patrons. They, they really do a lot to help us out. Um, and it, it means a lot. It's helpful to have that. Um, Unfortunately, they may be able to just straight kill this, which I'm a little worried about. Um, obviously, we're not going to block. And hopefully... Let's see. Ah, okay. That's fine. I mean, it's not great, but that's fine. Uh, let's see, let's see. And Azusa on top is not super helpful. Um, let's do this, then. Uh, we're going to do this mostly because if we do... It means we can actually block, <laughs> uh, which is pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get a third red here because we do need a third red, and I'll just play that. Um, and I'm going to say no attacks that way. We do have a blocker here. I'm sure, absolutely positive, that they'll be able to kill this, but um, I feel like we need to do something. Yep. We kind of have to force them to kill it because, obviously, otherwise we're in a bad shape. So, But that's okay. That is perfectly fine. Uh, yep, not good, but, um, hmm. So, we can do this to give us an extra blocker. 
Uh, we can do this. And then we can drop Terror. Um, which, okay, this gives us the best chance, but let's be very clear. This is not a good chance, um, unfortunately. So this does have Trample, so we do have to be quite careful about that. Um, let's see what's going to get. Yeah. We'll see. I don't have high hopes. Chances are they've got combat tricks on combat tricks here, so I think we just lose, but ah, Ember Cleaf. Sure, you got it. Oh, that's fine. I mean, it sucks, but it's fine. Uh, and we just lose, so we'll just go ahead and concede here. Oh, they're just going over the top. Come on. Come on. You don't need to do that. Uh, I would do it too. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get there that time, but that's fine. Let's see if we can get there on the next couple games. Again, I have high hopes for this. If it doesn't work, I am challenging everybody watching this video to make their own version of this list and send it to us. Do it through Discord because that's going to be the best place that we look. Uh, it's the place we most often look at least. Um, and so do it through there, but I really, really want to see if we can make this work. Uh, like Rada helps because we can look at the top card of our deck. Um, I'm going to mulligan though. I think that that's safer. Um, we'll put Perforos back here. I believe, um, but unfortunately this isn't a great hand either. I, I'm really, we need to get more grazers in here and more early game stuff, I think. Because um, again, we're, as we're seeing, going to be up against a lot of aggro decks, and so things that help uh, at least stave off some of that is going to be, that's crucial. Um, and you could see just like right here how important a grazer would be, um, but unfortunately we didn't get there, and now... Obviously, we just don't have anything to do. Um, what's nice is next turn we can drop the Mirror March off of... Oh, no, we even can't. I'm sorry. Uh, we do need three red. So, unfortunately, we can't. Uh, we can drop the Great Horn if we need to. Uh, they got Azusa. Sure. That's not good. Um, okay, now we actually can. So, let's do this. Let's just set ourselves up as best we can. Um... And we'll pass. Uh, so this time, if we would like to, we can get the raise bore out. Hopefully, do some damage there. But we're in we're in pretty bad shape. Uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, oh, skewer! If you have a shock, I'm gonna be so mad. They have a shock, don't they? Yeah, they have a skewer. All right. Those were two very quick games. Uh, let's go to our third game. Unfortunately, we've been against aggro decks, which, I mean, is what you would expect. Let's be very clear. But, um, obviously, that does mean it's a little bit harder. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Uh, I do think a little bit of a different configuration uh, with some early game stuff might be a little bit better. Um, but that's okay. We're here to try. We are here to try. Uh and again, Swanstorm, I really do appreciate the, the suggestion here. I think this is, regardless of whether it wins or not, it's just a fun deck. I think we definitely need more lands in this list, too. Um, ooh, I don't particularly want to get rid of any of these. I'm actually going to get rid of the Mirror March. Um, as terrible as that sounds, I think that's kind of the right play. This enables... Uh, it might have been this that's better, but this enables us to do a lot of different things, whereas the Mirror March is a bit of a dead card until later. Um, obviously, this enables Mirror March, so I get that, but uh, I think this is the right way to do it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and get the Mountain down because, again, we're going to try and be getting to this three red very, very quickly if we can, uh, and that's going to help us get there. So, uh, looks like a lifelink deck. Uh, that's actually fine. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, and we'll search out another red. Um, there we go. Uh, we're not going to attack. We are going to stay back as much as possible until we go ham. Uh, I think this is the kind of deck where you really need to be defensive uh, as much as possible in the early game. Uh, especially with things like this. We're going to need it. So... Okay, well, we do have our red now, uh, but unfortunately nothing to do with it. And I know I tossed back that Mirror March. We have an extra land. We could have gotten it down, but uh, I do think that that was the right play. Um, here they're going to sacrifice, I'm assuming, um, deal a lot of damage to us and get rid of our creature, uh, which does allow them to attack him. Uh, if enter from your graveyard. Okay. <coughs> 
Yep. That certainly sucks, but it's honestly not the end of the world. Um, obviously not ideal, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, hopefully we can get something proactive next turn. Here, of course, we're probably going to end up drawing all of our lands, but that's okay. Um, this is a very cool card, by the way. Thorn of the Dusk Rose here. Very, very cool. Yep. Yep, yep. Rada. Let's do this first, then. Um, we'll play this. Oh. Now, unfortunately, we know that there's another land coming, which is not good. Um, oh, my goodness. We're just getting slightly unlucky, I will say. I mean, I think the deck building needs to be, like, fixed in a couple of patterns, but I don't actually think it's bad. I think it's literally just two very, very fast matchups. And then, of course, we're, we're getting a bit flooded here. <laughs> um, and, of course, we have this land. The chances are they're just going to sack and get rid of Rada here, uh, which means we're not going to be able to play off the top of our deck, which means the next turn we probably just lose, uh, unfortunately. Yep. Uh, the only kind of saving grace in all this is that they are out of cards in hand, but it's still not going to be enough. Uh, I just, I can't assume that. Um, too many off the top here, unfortunately. Um... And honestly, even having a mirror march out with a Rada coming down wouldn't have been helpful because uh, the reality is it's a legendary creature. We could only have kept one of them. Uh, so unfortunately, we just lose here. Uh, they attack in with these two and then, yep. Oh, no, no. All right. Well, that was three very quick games. Uh, we are under the 20 minute mark, but unfortunately we did not get any wins. Still, I am holding out hope. I am I am very positive that we can at least get one win with this, hopefully doing the Mirror March stuff. So that is still going to be our goal in video two. Uh, I do really appreciate you guys sitting and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you guys will take this deck list and maybe culminate something of your own. I'm really excited to see what you guys can come up with. And again, thank you so much to, to uh, Swanstorm here for submitting this deck list. I really do appreciate it. Uh, all of you that are submitting deck lists, I really appreciate. We've got a lot coming down the pipeline that I'm excited to get into this week. Uh, and, you know, it's it's really, really cool to see so many people in our community submitting lists for us. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you very, very soon for part two with this Terror March deck. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this one will get at least one win. I'm excited. I really hope so. Uh, I'll see you guys then.